Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you probably won't have a clue what this is all about, but basically, in a nutshell, uh, I own a piece of land in the Philippines and we're trying to turn it into a, what should we call it? What should we call it there? A survival area. Let's call it a survival area. We're building a cabin, we're growing food, doing all the things that uh, you need to do to survive. Should this COVID-19 outbreak thing get any worse, we've got an area to survive. We've been very, very busy guys, very, very busy. Let me just show you what we've been up to. First of all, we've got this lovely bamboo on my land. I've got this bit here and I've got, well, hundreds more in other areas. But uh, we have been cutting down bamboo like there's no tomorrow. Take a look at this guys, it literally is everywhere. Bamboo everywhere, it's massive, really hard bamboo. We've got it all down here, all over here. You can see the lads in the distance there cutting some from another plantation that's further up. We literally have bamboo everywhere. Now why do we need this bamboo? Well, let me show you. So this is the cabin we're building. As you can see, it's starting to look pretty much like a house now. If you take a look over here, you can see just how much bamboo we've used on just one half of the first half of the roof. That's a lot of bamboo. Very thick, very heavy bamboo. And it's taken us two days to get to that stage there. We've still got the other half to do and then we've got the other side of the roof to do. It's a very, very long process. The reason why is all the bamboo has to be harvested first from the uh, main plant. Then it has to be cut to size. And then inside the bamboo, uh, I can't really find a piece now, but inside the bamboo here, there's like a, a, a pocket that has to be taken out of each and every one. Every piece of bamboo has to be split in half like this. Um, and then it's got to be cut to the right size. And then each piece of bamboo uh, kind of presents its own problem when you're putting it up there. It's got to be, you know, make sure it goes into place properly and... You know, it can take as much as 10 minutes to put one piece up, you know. So, um, that's why it's taken so long to do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, guys, when this is finished, the whole roof is finished, it's going to be so worth it. We don't know of anyone else in this area that has a bamboo roof. They usually have a tin roof or uh, they make it out of, like, reeds and things, you know. So, for us to have a bamboo roof in this area is quite unique. Let me just show you what it looks like on the inside and bearing in mind this will be exposed on the inside when we move into the house. Just take a look at that guys, it's going to look really spectacular. Absolutely beautiful. Of course at the moment the bamboo is green, it will go brown within the next two weeks so it will all blend in lovely with the house. So while the guys are all cutting it into sizes there I'm making trips with each piece up this way and then making a big pile here believe it or not this huge pile here is not even enough to do quarter of the roof so maybe it's just about actually but we still got a lot more to gather yet Oh, I'll tell you what guys, it is hard work collecting that bamboo. Well guys, it's coming towards the end of the day here, the light's starting to fade. We haven't got any further at all with the roof, and that's because it's taken us all day to gather this bamboo, literally all day. We had a couple of hours off uh, from about midday to about 2pm, and that was because it was so hot. Had a little bit of a siesta. But uh, yeah, I'm going to. Oh, it's not the end of the video, I'm going to come back to you in a minute in the morning. So I'll catch you in the morning. Well, good morning everyone. It's the next morning. We've now got the job of splitting all this wood. We've already got some done here. And then we can start putting it up on the roof. Just over here, I'll just show you. Once we split the wood, we've got to take these pieces out here. I don't know what they're called. I'm, I just call them nodules, but they've all got to be taken out with a knife. 
before we can put them up on the roof. So I'll try and do this one handed if I can. But basically you've got to chop out the centre like that. And then try your best to get as much of it out as you can. So that the, each piece of bamboo will overlap each other properly. Like that, and there are an average of about eight of these pieces in every single one we're doing, you know. So you can see why it takes so long to prepare each piece of bamboo ready to go on the roof. Well, guys, I'm down by the river. You can see the river coming down from up there. The more further you go up there, the more raw the jungle gets. You can see there's a lot of vines hanging down. But anyway, the purpose I'm down here is. Uh, this piece of wood here floated down last year when the uh, river was very, very high, probably as high as me now, you know. But uh, it's a very old piece of native wood, very, very old, very, very solid as well. Uh, some kind of hardwood, absolutely solid. But what I see here is a, is a some kind of bench or chair, you know, kind of cut off from here you've got this circular or semicircular seat if you like and then just over here there's a branch coming off and I think if I turn that around and kind of put it on the back of this seat you'll have a backrest um, obviously it's going to take it's a very heavy piece of wood it's going to take four or five people maybe even six people to try and get this out but we can cut it here take this bit up first cut that off there and then somehow get this I mean it's going to be very very heavy but I don't know if you can see it but I can see a beautiful seat there absolutely beautiful and the wood itself if I can get a kind of close-up shot of the wood you'll see it is absolutely beautiful this wood absolutely beautiful you can see all the grain in the wood and gnarly bits. You know, this would have come off probably a three or four hundred year old tree, maybe more, I don't know. But absolutely beautiful. So the house is starting to look nice now. Uh, just over in kind of that area down there, down the bank there, I discovered some pineapple plants that were growing but they were in the shade and they weren't getting no light at all and they were starting to look very spindly so uh, I bought them over here and planted them they still look very very spindly but uh, hopefully they'll grow back again I hope so anyway and one of them I found over there this one here still has a beautiful pineapple growing on it yeah take a look at that absolutely lovely still very small at the moment not ready to eat but later on I'll be able to have a nice pineapple I'm just going to take you down this way a bit, guys, to show you a little bit of the area of my land. So this is some more of my bamboo, another area. You can see I've got plenty of bamboo, plumber, literally bamboo everywhere. And uh, if you take a look over in that direction there, you'll see some more bamboo growing down there. We have some more over that way somewhere, I can't remember where it is, down that way somewhere. But I wanted to take you down to the river here and just show you the border of my land. So this cliff you see here, is actually the border of my land and the river obviously I have the rights to very very beautiful river and just down here we have a natural spring now this spring has actually been tested <coughs> just jump down here the, the spring has actually been tested and it's perfectly safe to drink it's very pure water natural spring water um, yeah so this is going to be perfect water supply for us down here 
Uh, let's take it for a little walk along the river here. So yeah, the cliff you see on the left hand side here is the border of my land. And all this land this way and up that way, and right up that way as far as the house and, and beyond is my land. Let's have a little look at their waterfall over here. So the river kind of comes in two directions here. It comes from there and it also comes from here and then joins the main river here. If you follow the river all the way around, right up to the house and beyond, that's the border of my land. Got a lovely waterfall here. Hope you can hear me all right, it's very loud. But um, when the wet season comes, this is obviously raging because um, the river, at the moment it's down here, the river is kind of up about here where my knife is. So you can imagine the water comes thundering down over this bit here and it gets absolutely beautiful. And then all the rocks and things kind of hit up against this cliff here. You can see where it's gouging out down the bottom there, where the river just thunders through here. Obviously I'll be showing you that when the uh, when the wet season gets here and all the flooding starts. But yeah, I think you'd agree guys, my land is absolutely beautiful. I love it down here. I can't think of anywhere else in the world I'd rather be. Except sometimes with my family, of course. Beautiful place. So we finally got to the stage where we can start putting the wood up on the roof. Two lads are up there doing that now. My job is to keep them fed with the bamboo. Got plenty already prepared for them. I've still got lots to prepare down here. And that's the area there where I'm preparing it. So hopefully finally now we can start getting somewhere with the roof today. So there it is guys, we've finished the first half of the roof and I think you'll agree it looks pretty spectacular. Um, we've decided not to do the other half yet because the weight of the newly cut bamboo is very very heavy on the beams. Um, we're going to allow them to dry out for a few days and we're going to concentrate on the floor. Once the floor is down and the bamboo is dried out a little bit on the roof we'll uh, continue with the other side of the roof. So this is what the roof looks like from the inside. Really is amazing. So I'm going to end the video now guys. Uh, we've done very very well. It's the end of the day now. It's really hot. I'm done in. Uh, when we come back on the next video, I'll show you the floor that we've started. Hopefully that'll be progressed a little bit. So I'll, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification so you'll get a notification next time I upload a video. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys.